Ready, set, go. <laughs> you roll paint. Use better paint than me. <laughs> hey guys, Chrissy with the Windswept Cowboy here. Welcome to my guest room. As you know, March has been back to basics and I'm going to be repainting this room very soon and trying to get a head start on the decor in here. I'm going to be chalk painting, as I already have, this end table. I'm going to show you how I did it. When it comes to painting furniture and most of my DIYs, as you know, I only use the chalky type paint. I love to use the chalk type paint so, so much because, first of all, you can pretty much throw away your sandpaper, throw away your primer. You do not have to use them. However, there are certain occasions where you do have to use sandpaper, and that is if you are refinishing a piece of furniture that is like high gloss or like laminate, kind of that plasticky feel. Uh, you will have to sand for that to give it some tooth so the paint will want to stick. When you paint with the chalk type paint, it goes on really fast and it dries really fast also. When applying the chalk paint, make sure that you take your brush from one end to the other in one long stroke and that way it will come out a nice clean finish and be sure to clean up those drops or any mistakes that you made right away otherwise they will dry in there. I try not to do the short little stabby strokes but on occasion you do have to like get up in there with your paintbrush into those crevices and once you are finished getting the paint inside those crevices make sure you drag that out right away. And if you do make a mistake, you do have brush strokes and you do have drips, don't fret because you can easily go back and sand those out. Chalk paint is so forgiving that way. So as I was painting this piece here, a little bit of paint goes a long way. I literally only used this much. Also, you'll notice I painted inside my house because the chalk type paint, they have either low VOCs, volatile organic compounds, or no. VOCs, which is fantastic. You don't have a lot of gases emitting in the air and it's a lot safer for your home. Let's be real, VOC really stands for it's going to be smelly. Once you have finished painting the entire surface of your piece, I use two coats because the chalk paint covers in two coats fantastically. Another plus for the chalk paint. At that point you need to decide if you want to distress it or if you want that high gloss modern look. At this point, you can easily distress your piece by using sandpaper or even a wet washcloth. And that's called wet distress. You can just take your washcloth and you go over the raised details on your piece and it takes the paint off and voila, you have a beautiful raised detail that you can see. And if it was that modern look you were after, you can just lightly sand the brush strokes and any drips or imperfections that you see, they come right out. And then you can finish up with your high gloss finish. Speaking of finishing the chalky type paints, you can either use a wax or a polyurethane. And the chalky type paints become very durable once you apply that protective finish and then you are good to go for a very long time. The waxes will need to be reapplied around every six months, but if it's a piece of furniture like this that's in my guest room that hardly ever gets any use, I probably could go a couple of years between waxes. And you can use a polyurethane type product on top, and then you will never have to redo that. There are so many great chalk type paint companies out there and they offer the different colored waxes to go with their products. But I do have a tip for you when applying the colored waxes to your piece. You're going to want to apply your clear wax first because that chalk paint is just like it sounds. It's very chalky and matte. When you put your dark wax color on it, it will stick right there. You can't move it around at all. But if you finish with your clear wax first, then when you put your dark wax on top, 
you can move it around exactly where you want and get that look that you're after. So to start this project, I wiped my piece off first because it has been sitting here for a little while and it did collect some dust in the crevices so I wanted to clean that up really good. Next, I sanded my piece. It did not have to do this, but it was a little glossy in some of the areas so I just went ahead and sanded in all of the little crevices, made sure all the dust was out of that. That way the paint would want to stick to it nicely. Then I took the cloth again and I wiped off all of my sanding dust to make sure that it was super clean. Before I started to paint, I decided to remove the drawers and then I removed the hardware from the drawers. That way I could bring my brush straight across the fronts of those drawers without having to try to paint around those knobs. And I wanted to paint the knobs anyway, just not the chalk paint. So I spray painted them after washing them because, you know, they get a little dirty. And then I had to add water to my paint because I've had that paint for quite a while and it was just a little too thick for me. So I added some water and away we go. So then I painted my second coat on all of the surface of the drawers. I decided not to paint the inside because I do have some paper on the bottom of the drawers and they were fine just like they were. So I concentrated my efforts just on the outside. After my paint dried, I did go over and sand a lot of my brush strokes back out, any drops and drips that I found and any mistakes that I had. I fixed it right then before putting any type of finish on top because once you put your finish on top, you are finished. I used the wax on the body of it. As you will see, um, I did the clear wax first and then I took a very fine paintbrush and I used my antiquing wax to go into all the crevices to kind of make it, let's be real, I made it look like it has dirt after I wash the dirt out. I, why do we do that? I don't know, but I do like the look and now I know it's not actually dirt, but paint. So it makes me sleep better at night. And as far as the top of the nightstand, I decided to use a polyurethane because it will take some use and abuse and I wanted to make sure that it was gonna last. So the next thing to do was to put my hardware back on my drawers here insert the drawers and decorate. And I love how it turned out. Thrilled how it turned out actually. These pieces, I have two nightstands. You are only seeing one currently. And I thrifted these and they were very, very cheap. I think they were $10 a piece. And I decided just to repaint them since the decor in the room is changing. I was gonna change them also. And I didn't have to spend but I don't know, $8 on paint to paint two nightstands. Win-win in my book. So when you see that ugly paint job or roughed up stain on a piece of furniture, don't overlook it. Always think that you can chalk paint it because chalk paint sticks to everything. So all you have to do is find that perfect piece, paint it on, and seal it with your favorite finish and your favorite look and you are good to go. Don't be intimidated or afraid because you cannot make a mistake with chalk paint. So who of you have chalk paint and furniture? Let me know down below. You guys go and have a great day and happy crafting.